Welcome back to my adventures of remodeling this house. Anyway, getting it out there. Today's agenda is I'm going to wire up the dishwasher and wire up the electrical box and the switch for this garbage disposal. Now, we got a sink and a faucet that is going to go right there where all this stuff is sitting. But unfortunately, it's still in the back of my dad's truck. We went and got it the other day and never did bring it in. And he's at work right now, so I've got to do everything I can except for that because I don't have the stuff to get it. Let's flash back to Saturday, whenever we went and got it. We drive all the way to the store, found a nice sink and faucet combo kit that's exactly what we wanted. I mean, this faucet is beautiful, the sink is beautiful, it's exactly what we want, it's a good price. Picked it up, brought it home. And it was like, it's like a 40 minute drive from the store to the house. So we get here and I open up the box and someone had evidently bought the faucet and sink before and then put their old stuff in the box. So when I opened the box, it was just a nasty old used sink, a nasty old used faucet in some nasty old copper line. I mean, you could obviously tell that somebody had scammed the store and we were the ultimate victims of that scam. But luckily, the store was kind enough to understand our frustrations because we spent almost $400 on that thing and that would have been $400 down the drain and I don't know about you guys but to a broke mug like me that's a that's a lot of money $400 I mean nobody wants to lose $400 if it was like a couple bucks or whatever I'm not that worried about it but $400 that's enough to make you lose some sleep but we returned it got another set checked the box before we brought it home and uh everything is good to go but like I said that box is still in the back of my dad's truck I think my lip is bleeding a little bit and the cat scratched me while I go and I was holding him but uh yeah so I'm gonna take the uh, gonna take the dishwasher out get it all wired up and plumbed up the way it's supposed to go um, the drain is gonna be a little bit tricky to try to do well not tricky to do but I won't be able to get that hooked up because simply there is no sink up here therefore there is no plumbing underneath it to hook the drain up to so I'm just like I said I'm gonna get this garbage disposal hooked up and wired up and make sure that it works and uh, we'll go from there and um, I'm probably gonna put the anti-tilt bracket on this stove to make sure that it doesn't you know because anti-tilt brackets are made so whenever something's hot on top and a kid or something comes by it doesn't want to lean forward which you know you're gonna put a lot of weight on that to lean forward but you can never be too safe especially when you've got a kid involved and I do have a young child and hopefully soon we'll all be living here and I don't want there to be any chance of her tilting that stove forward and hurting herself in any way burning or something falling on her or you get the idea. So I'm gonna start working on this and try to get this all wired up and see how it goes.
so I think I got everything wired up the way it's supposed to. I had a little uh, diagram on my phone there helping me out. But there's a lot of stuff that I didn't film there just because it was kind of boring and whatever. But I've got the power running from the wall to the dishwasher. I've got it split off into an outlet and a switch. Hopefully, if I did it correctly, one of the sides of the outlet is going to stay hot all the time. And the other side is going to be controlled with the switch. That switch will control the dish or the garbage disposal. Since there's not a switch on the wall for the garbage disposal, I had to make my own. And I was going to put a box in there and put the switch and the outlet right next to each other in a nice little box. But there wouldn't have been enough clearance to slide the dishwasher into the hole with the box sticking out of the side of that cabinet. So I'm just kind of mounting the things right to the side of the cabinet. I got them all insulated real nicely. But I'm going to go hit the breaker back on and see, first of all, if the dishwasher comes on. And second of all, if the switch controls one of these outlets. Now, I don't have the garbage disposal all wired up and put together yet, so I'm just going to plug something else in there, a.k.a. my saw, and see if everything works right. So, wish me luck. So, let's try this out. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. See that? All right, so that one's hot and the switch is off. So that's good. That means that works. Let's try to turn this all on. Alright, so something is not wired up correctly because both of the sides of the outlet are hot all the time. Back to the drawing board. Alright, I think I figured out what the deal was. It was pretty much a rookie mistake, which I suppose you could classify me as a rookie, although I've done quite a bit of this kind of stuff before, but hey, you know, I ain't a professional. All right, so let's try out this top outlet again and see if it's going to be hot. All right, so that's hot. Hopefully, right now, this one will not work. Little son of a gun. Ugh. All right. I've got it figured out. See how that I got it turned on, but it ain't on. I'll put it over here. But as you can see, it's working now. I just had a wire where it shouldn't have been. Had to switch it over to the other side. But I'm gonna kill this breaker again real quick and get that all buttoned up and looking nice. And now I'm gonna have to drill a hole, maybe two holes, one for the water line, the supply line for the dishwasher, and then another for the drain line. So I'm gonna have to bust out the old hole saws and uh get to cutting that should be fun okay i spared you guys the boring stuff i don't know maybe you find that it's the most interesting part but either way i've got the dishwasher completely hooked up wired up plumbed up and installed all i got to do now is get the sink in so that i can hook up the drain line and we can test that bad boy out because if I try to do it now, all the water that goes into it is just going to pour out into this cabinet, out of this drain line right here. Nobody wants that. And I got this switch 
good to go right there. I guess I'll, I, could, I could probably go ahead and put that plate on there too, which is right here. So I'm gonna do that. And definitely gonna clean up this mess a bit that I've made. Um, and I'll probably get this garbage disposal wired up too. So that shouldn't take too long at all. I've done that a million times. I know what I'm doing with that. I just wish that I had a sink to hook it up to the bottom of. But like I said, our new sink and faucet is in the back of my dad's truck and he's at work right now. So, And uh, I used a little more wire than I thought I was going to to hook all this stuff up so I might have to uh, come come up with some more wire to get this garbage disposal cord long enough to plug into the side that I need it to but that's pretty easy so I'm gonna see if, actually I can't really do anything until I find some more wire so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to find some right now all righty then Ooh notification doo 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 all right so uh i got my mess in here cleaned up for the most part uh like i said before i've got this dishwasher all installed and ready to go it's mounted where it needs to be it is permanent until it's not and i think the next step uh i couldn't i couldn't find any wire i think that's where i left off the last the last clip i couldn't find any extra wire around the house I only had about a foot left of the wire that I was using and that's not enough to get me where I need to be to plug this disposal right here into the outlet that I put in down there you like that don't you it's a her for her purr Ooh wait it's gonna be doing some grindage all you Polly Shore fans can appreciate the grindage sorry it's one of those days but uh yeah i think i'm gonna uh end up taking this back because i didn't end up using it. it was the dishwasher supply line and it was the wrong size and i found another one that works out just fine that is also steel braided you can't go wrong with steel braid and i've got this garbage disposal installation kit so this along with the plumbing that's already down there that I have uh, should be no sweat whatsoever to get that all hooked up and installed and I think I'm gonna um, hook up the disposal to the sink before I install the sink because it'd be a lot easier to put it on and then set the sink down than it would be to get under there and try to hook it up because you gotta you gotta mess with this little retainer ring and I've done enough of them to know that when you got to replace everything, including the basket, it's kind of a pain in the butt. If you're just doing, if you're just doing the disposal itself without having to replace the basket, it's not that big of a deal. You just, uns, you know, slip the one part over and switch them out, and then bada boom, bada bing, you're good to go. But since this is all a brand new install, I'm just gonna uh, install the disposal app at the same time I do the sink before I put the sink down into the hole which leads me to the next step hopefully in the next video we'll be cutting this bad boy out like so and I have never cut through the top of a countertop before it's a little intimidating but cutting the edges right here wasn't a big deal so cutting this shouldn't be a big deal because I got all the tools and seems like as long as you tape it off and make sure everything's nice and straight and square and should turn out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this kitchen so far. I mean, I've I've never remodeled a, a whole kitchen, let alone a whole house, but uh, you know, I'm learning as I go and things are turning out pretty well so far. Uh, you know, for someone who is just kind of doing this in their spare time I'm feeling kind of proud of it and I hope that the rest of my family likes it too I know my dad likes it you know he's a uh, he's definitely impressed with what I've been doing my girlfriend she hasn't actually been into the house really since I started messing with it 
she well she she was in here a while back but I've gotten so much of this stuff done she hasn't seen any of the flooring she hasn't seen any of the doors or any of this kitchen she's kind of wanting it to be like a a grand unveiling I wouldn't call it like a, a surprise because she sees the the videos and the pictures and stuff and she helps pick out some of the material that I've been using so she she gets the gist of how it's looking but you never really know how something looks until you see it with your own eyes in person so but with all that jabber being said I think I'm gonna get out of here I gonna pick up my daughter she's over at her grandmother's house right now and uh, it's been a few hours and it's about time to go because I can't really do much more in here because I don't have the wire to hook up the to wire up the disposal and I don't have the sink to get all that going so maybe later this week I'll be able to get that done so anyway I hope to see you guys again and I will catch you next time I'll do the Michael Jackson peace sign peace hee <laughs> hee